Hello and welcome to the 3D printer certification video for Yolo County Library. At the time of this recording, Yolo County Library offers use of 3D printers as a free service, though a fee may be added in the future. As this is a new service, our guidelines may be updated at any time. Use of the 3D printers is open to all Yolo County Library cardholders aged 13 and older whose accounts are in good standing, who have either viewed this video or have sufficient prior experience with 3D printers and have signed and completed the library's user agreement and liability waiver. Children under the age of 13 must be accompanied by an adult certified to use the 3D printer. You will then be able to make appointments to use the 3D printer by calling your local branch's information desk. You may make up to four three-hour appointments per month, and you may book up to a month in advance. For longer print jobs, you may need to book back-to-back -back appointments if available. It is a good idea to obtain your 3D file prior to your appointment, as your print must complete within your appointment window. Save the file to USB flash drive and bring it to your appointment. Alternatively, you can search for a file during your appointment and download it directly to the laptop, but this will count towards your time. Please note that library staff will be available for some troubleshooting, but will not be able to provide individual instruction on the use of the printer during your appointment. Let's talk about obtaining your file. You can either download a pre-made file for printing, or create your own design. The two most common file formats for 3D printing are STL and OBJ. For advanced design, you'll need to obtain advanced software that the library does not provide access to at this time. There are many websites for downloading files, but we recommend Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a free site where you can browse many different creations, all designed to be printed. When you find an object you like, simply click Download All Files. Be sure to check for any comments from the creator for printing specifics. If you would like to create your own design, you will need to become familiar with Computer Assisted Design, or CAD, programs. Tinkercad is a free, web-based CAD which allows you to create 3D objects and save them to your computer for printing. If you'd like to explore more advanced CAD programs, you can try out Blender. Blender is a free professional CAD program, but must be installed on your computer, and the Yellow County Library does not offer access to Blender at this time. You can find more information about Blender at www.blender.org. The Yellow County Library 3D printers are the Lulzbot TAS6 and the Lulzbot Mini. Today we'll be taking a look at the TAS-6, but the concepts presented will be applicable to both printers. The TAS-6 has a maximum build area of approximately 11 inches by 11 inches by 10 inches. The Yellow County Library does not allow patrons to bring their own filament to use at this time. Instead, we provide PLA filament in a variety of colors for you to use. If you would like to suggest a color, or we are running low, please let the information desk know. If you would like to learn more detailed information about these printers, you can visit www.lulzbot.com. Now that you have obtained your file and saved it to a USB flash drive, you are ready to print. Open the program called Cura on the desktop. The icon should resemble a black C within a lime green 3D cube. This program is called a slicer. It slices your file into layers that the printer can understand. Once open, click the folder icon at the top left of the screen, or click File, then Open, to load your file. Now navigate to the folder with your 3D file. Once your file has loaded, you should see the object on the left-hand side of the screen. Below the folder icon, you will see a number of tools you can use to manipulate your object. You can change the location, size, and rotation of your object, and even duplicate it. Now let's look at the right side of the screen. Here you will find settings for filament type, as well as quick select quality profiles. You can also select the infill, or how much plastic is inside the model. A higher infill makes for a longer print, but also a stronger one. 20% is generally enough. There is also an option to generate support for your object if it has steep overhangs. These will be easily removable from your print. You can also change how the object adheres to the print bed. You can find more advanced options by changing the slider from recommended to custom. Note, your print time is estimated in the bottom right of the preview window. If this is an estimate, and while pretty accurate, please be sure your print will end before your appointment does. Appointment times may not be extended. Your object must be completed in the time allotted. When you're ready to print, click the icon that looks like a 3D printer. This window is the print monitor where you can connect to and control the printer. The left-hand side of the screen will now be locked, 
and the right hand side will now display controls for the printer. Make sure the printer is connected to the laptop and turned on, then click connect. Now you should be connected to the printer. You can manually position the print head, control the temperatures, and change filaments in this screen. In order to load filament into the printer, you will need to preheat the nozzle or hot end. Find the temperature for the filament either on the box or the reel of filament, and then type that number into the dialog box and click preheat. Note, the nozzle, print bed, and extruded filament are hot. Do not touch them. Once the nozzle reaches your desired temperature, you will need to release the hinged idler on the print head. This is done by pulling the latch up upwards and the idler will fall out of place. You can then pull any remaining filament out of the feed. Load a new spool onto the printer with the filament coming up from the bottom. This is specific to the TAS 6. The mini is loaded in reverse. Feed the filament through the guiding tube. Once through the tube, push the filament into the feed until some comes out of the nozzle. Raise the hinged idler and lower the latch into place. Back in Cura, set the extrude amount to 90 millimeters and click extrude. This will extrude out all of the old filament from the printer. If nothing extrudes, remove the filament and reload it. You can now click start print. Once your print has finished, you will need to use our provided spatula to gently remove your object. Try to find a gap in which you can slide the spatula underneath and gently lift. If your print will not come off, Try applying small amounts of rubbing alcohol around the print and try again. If that does not work, try warming up the bed in order to soften the bond between the object and the print bed. Finally, if you're still unable to remove your print, contact library staff for assistance. If you have any issues, please contact the information desk for assistance or to reschedule your appointment. Please remember that library staff is available only for troubleshooting, not individual instruction. Thank you for watching.